Merry Christmas, everyone. Welcome back to the basement yard. Danny, how you doing? Doing, doing, doing pretty good. Can't hear you. Oh. Yep. Just, just move it. A, yeah. Can't really move in that thing, huh? Yeah, I can, I can a little. Yeah. My you, Christmas is good. You guys are going to be um, hearing a lot of ruffling because Danny has wrapped himself in gift wrap paper. Yeah. And he's got a bow on the side of his head, which I think is a good touch. It's I think it's adorable. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just... Oh. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, So, you look great. Thank you. You look great, too. You have a wonderful sweater on. Yeah, I got a good sweater on. I really like this sweater. What the fuck's going on with this wire right oh, here? Oh, no. You're yeah. all tangled. I'm all tangy-bangy. It's okay. Just put, yeah, throw it on there. <laughs> I'm all tangy-bangy. God. Um, yeah, so this, this episode will be coming out. I believe December twenty second. So yes. Christmas is <sighs> right around the corner. Yeah, it's knocking on the back door. Oh, big time knocking on the back door for yeah. sure. I like knocking on the back door sometimes. You like that? Eh, it depends if it's whose birthday it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's more of a guy birthday. Yeah, it's a guy birthday. Yeah, yeah February twenty yeah. fifth. We're knocking on all doors. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> you mean December twenty fifth? What I said? You said February. No, I did because that's my birthday. Oh, that's yeah. I'm not right. gonna. I'm not gonna knock on the back door on Jesus's birthday. You can't anal on G- on Christmas. You can't have sex on Christmas, right? Um, have you ever fucked on Christmas? No, I've never had sex on Christmas. I've jerked off on Christmas. You've beat it on Christmas. Yeah, for sure. I've definitely not just ability. to get the pregame jitters out. You know? Do you mean you do it before you open gifts? I do it before, like I go to a family gathering. I just had to get it out. You know? That's kind of weird. You want to jerk before you see Aunt Gladys? Yeah. But I don't want. It's, I'm not thinking about Aunt Gladys. It's just that I'm more. I'm off. I'm on edge on Christmas. It's a very edgy day. It's not edgy at all. I think it is. I think it's a glorious day. You got to see a lot of people you haven't seen in a while. There's yeah. a lot going on. There's a lot of moving parts. There's ham. Help! 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 Help me put this in the car. Yeah. It's all kind of food that needs to get transferred. I got a jerk. I got to jerk off for that. <laughs> for sure. I look like every one of my Puerto Rican cousins, like at their quinceanera. Right you do. Now. You look like yeah. your name's like Esmeralda. Yeah, or Grismalda or something. Something with a G. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Absolutely. But I, I'm digging it. Yeah. Is you, actually- you look like your your Sweet Sixteen is in the back of a pizza shop. Oh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see those? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Remember my Super Sweet Sixteen? You'd be like, Dad, this fucking car sucks. Like okay, my da- like she came in on a fucking camel. Yeah. Like your dad rented a camel, which I didn't know you could just rent exotic yeah. animals like that, that like live in the desert. Neither did I. And you came in on a camel, and you got a BMW, but it wasn't an M3. Right. So you got complaints. Dad, this isn't the color that I wanted. It's like it's you know my dad went above and beyond. P Diddy's here, but like it's not an M3. And everyone's gonna fucking laugh at me. And now I'm embarrassed. Yeah. And now I can't even show the fucking Roy baseball games now. Oh man, rich spoiled girls. I'd like to beat them up. I'm not gonna say Sexually that. Sexually or like, no, with fists, not with whatever that is. Yeah, I'll help you. Yeah, you look like Iron Man, kind of. Thank you. Or like Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Wreck It Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> Wreck It Ralph. You don't know who that is. Is he a Pixar guy? He's a, uh, I don't, I mean, he's in that realm. Of he, d- he goes in all the video games, right? He like wrecks stuff. He like bangs. Oh, I wreck stuff. Yeah. Oh, I wreck stuff. He bangs stuff. I do that too. No, no, no. He bangs like buildings. Oh, yeah, yeah I don't I do think. that. He wrecks, he wrecks stuff. But I wreck them. stuff and bang stuff. That's for sure. Oh, d- uh, yeah? You wreck it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I believe you. Oh, yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, I wanted to talk about some Christmas stuff since we're on the topic. Yeah. Um, there's some, there's some stuff. So like, I don't know what it is, but from <laughs> back in the day, all the songs that were used to be created, like you ever hear like, you know, ring around the rosies about like dead children or some shit. Yeah. Like pocket full of posy. Posy was like a disease or it wasn't a disease. It was like some, something you threw on a dead person. Yeah. It was like, it was like the black play going on in that uh, song or whatever. Yeah, or like rock a yeah. baby in a treetop. It's like, you know, who put this baby yeah, up yeah, there? Yeah. It's kind of weird. She's going to fall. She's going to die. Well, down comes Cradle Baby and all at the end of that song. Yeah. Sorry, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't listened yet. It's a bad conclusion. It's a, it's a, it's a yeah, dead baby. Yeah, it's story. not great. It's not great. And you should sing this to your kids to make them go to sleep. It, you know, it doesn't make sense. But there are some Christmas songs that make no fucking sense. Where the fuck is my phone? You probably dropped it on the floor. I got it. You Don't got worry it. about it. <laughs> but I have uh, the lyrics 
one that's like just obvious, right? We have uh, mo- like I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. Now off the bat, mommy's a a, a dirty whore cheat. Yeah, yeah, she's a cheating whore. Yeah, with yeah. with good old Saint Nick, who also dirty whore cheat. Yeah. On Mrs. Claus, who's up there probably taking care of people. You know, she's having... Oh, it's I didn't even just, think about that. Just as a, a busy night for Mrs. Claus as as Mr. Claus. Am I saying that right? Yes, Mr. and They're Mrs. Claus. They're both having a busy night. Yeah. But one is flying around the world a fucking women. Okay? <laughs> Dropping off gifts, but a fucking women. And in front of, apparently, their own children. Yeah, because the child fucks. That's a child found. So, like, I'm going to read the lyrics, okay? And this is a song performed by the Jackson Five. Uh, (laughs) Take take that with a grain of salt. Yes, this was young young Michael Jackson. Take it. (laughs) (laughs) Take that with a grain of salt and a little bit of pedophilia. Um, The first lyrics: Wow, mommy's kissing Santa Claus. Child is is you know already this is a traumatic experience. But I I think that's a proper reaction. That's a proper lyric. Yeah, like wow. Yeah, I would say I would say whoa, wow, whoa. Yeah, I'd be like ma, you know. Yeah, I'd probably whatever. But um, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus underneath the mistletoe last night. Okay, Mm. which also just a weird thing. Why is a mistletoe? Why did we do that? Who created that? What kind of lonely man is like, yeah. oh, we're going to make this this mistletoe? Because, like, someone who can't kiss girls has yeah. to be like, yo, this branch, though, you have to. It was a perverted nerd that couldn't get anyone to kiss him. Yeah. And he made it up at, drunk at a Christmas party. Yeah. And he's like, yo, everyone, if you walk in, you got to kiss me. Yeah. Just kissing dudes walking in. Um, she didn't see me creep down the stairs to have a peep. She thought I was tucked up in my bedroom fast asleep. <laughs> so the mom puts the kid to sleep. Good night, little Jimmy. Goes that's, downstairs. She's ready for that big old St. Dick. Yeah, and that's usually when the freaky stuff starts. If you have kids, you put them in the bed, and then the freak comes out. Yeah, you know? put the kids to bed, and let me fucking yeah, let leave me... cookies out. I'm leaving these titties out for Santa Claus. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, then I saw mommy tickle Santa Claus. Now, what does that mean? Jerked him off for sure. Yeah, I think a tickle the pickle. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's some sexual stuff going on there. Some sexual stuff. Jerk that old man. Then I saw mommy tickle Santa Claus underneath his beard, so snowy white. Under the beard, a tickle? I don't know about this. That feels nice though. Oh, would have. Oh, what a laugh it would have been if Daddy had only seen. Not a laugh, dude. Dad would have been pissed. Yeah, I don't think my dad would ever laugh at someone making out with my mom in front of him on Christmas. Imagine the confusion. You come downstairs and your wife is cheating on you and having an affair with a fat old man. But is Santa one of those like that gets like a celebrity like hall pass? He's a mythical man. Like me and my fiance though are like, hey, if you ever have the chance to have sex with Rihanna, go ahead and do it. Mm-hmm. You know, like I have that pass. Is Santa worthy of that pass? I don't know, man. He's more famous than Rihanna is. He is way more famous than Rihanna, but also you have to think about this guy probably has ADS, all the STDs, because he's flying around. He's probably fucking all night. He's getting sucked and fucked all day. You know, he's drained. Yeah, I never really thought about yeah, it. He so probably gets like fucking 9,000 blowjobs just in New York alone. That's what I'm saying. Or on this block, I mean, how many suckage can you get on this block? This, all the houses are connected. Like, there's tons of people. I live in an apartment. There's yeah, three yeah. sucks in this apartment. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, yeah, and that's including me. There's three males here. Yeah, that's including me. And yeah, yeah that, me, you, and Josh are here. And, you know, we're not going to let that opportunity yeah, go to Yeah, I would suck waste. Santa. Yeah, I'd, I'd drain him. Yeah, easily. Probably get powerful, too, if you did that. Yeah, I guess there's some sort of effect there. Yeah. It's kind of like Spider Man. We got bit by a spider and then it exactly. started to be able to crawl up, mount, like, uh, buildings. Exactly. You suck Santa and then you're able to, like, train reindeer to fly you yeah know or you like you are know, reindeer real yes or just are they just deer they're ra- they're deer but like super deer they have big ass heads Did or I like heads or horns you're talking horns, about or yeah. like what's that called what's the the Antler. rack antlers <laughs> fuck we're idiots um but yeah um uh he saw mommy kissing 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 santa claus i really did see mommy kissing santa claus and I'm going to tell my dad. Fucking snitch. Snitch, dude. Why would you do that? I'll be honest. If I came downstairs, I saw my mom hooking up with Santa Claus. A part of me would be like, what a filthy fucking whore. But at the same time, I'd be like, that's a, but that's a mythical famous man. Yeah, You can't snitch. You can't snitch on you can't your own mom. can't snitch on your own mom? Yeah. It's probably because your dad's not throwing it down. Yeah. 
you got to figure that's why it's only once a year too. Yeah. It's like, you yeah, know, whatever. It's not a big deal. I feel like it's going to sound also, I'm not trying to fuck up my presence, dude. That's what I'm saying. You're going to throw everything off. Let dad just be, let him go. Oh, what he doesn't know can't hurt him. You let know what I'm go. saying? Dad, I need these presents. That's the best part about Christmas is that wait till after the presents. Then the sad stuff happens. Then you start talking about the relatives that are dying yeah, and who couldn't make it this year. Yeah. I, I feel like there's a lot of cross back and forth. Everyone kind of shits on family members that aren't there at that time. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, you couldn't make the trip. Yeah. All right. Whatever. Just pass me more ham. Fucking Uncle Rico. Piece of shit. Yeah. Three years in a row with this bullshit. I, don't, I just don't understand. It. He doesn't want to come to Christmas. Fine. We're not going there. You know, traffic. Leave earlier then. Yeah. Fucking idiot. A lot of shit talking goes on in Christmas. Tons, with families. tons, tons, yeah. tons. Love it. Love it. Infighting. Yeah. 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 Um, But. Yeah, I, I'm not trying to f- like. What do you care about more, the like PS4 or your parents' marriage? At a young age, I'm going P- PS4. I'm going right now at 30 PS4. Pro- yeah, and yeah. it also depends. My parents what- have been together long enough; they don't need this shit anymore. Also, Santa is not going to bring a PS4 with no games. We're talking. <sighs> we're talking like now. We're talking upwards of five hundred dollars worth of gaming, and that doesn't. You know, I'm not even including the years of happiness this thing is going to bring me. You know, if my parents get divorced, we're just talking about an extra Christmas now. That's what I'm saying. Now I got two. I get yeah. one here and one in Scottsdale, Arizona. Hey, maybe Santa's bisexual because if your parents get divorced, he comes to your mom's house and bangs your mom. But then he goes to your dad's house and fucks your dad. Yeah, or just sucks him. I don't know if he fucks him. I mean, I don't know either, but something's Would happening. you let Santa Claus suck your dick? What? <laughs> In a heartbeat, dude. Yes. Yeah. In the un, in the middle of Times Square. One hundred percent. Well, at, no. There's people that dress up like Santa. You might just be getting bamboozled. No, I'm saying, but I'm I'm saying if it was the real Santa. Oh, okay. If I had, you know, DNA testing, ancestry.com, <laughs> like we knew it was him. I still wouldn't trust Times Square though, because there's a lot of Santas running out there, probably trying to get blowjobs. To be honest. Yeah. I mean, you know. Trust I, me. I know. How? Oh, what? Go on. Okay. Um, no, I just, you know, I, I only said Times Square because I know there's a lot of people there. So right, I, right, I, I right. You want to know. set you want to set up a scene that you would suck him anywhere. No, no, I thought I was the one getting sucked now. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. You want me to blow Santa? No, no, no. You, no, Santa sucks your cock. Fine, take it. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I'm going to take that every time. Yeah. Ten yeah, times yeah. out of ten, I'm taking that. Would you What su- about an elf? Would you suck Santa Claus for him to be real? <sighs> Never thought about that, have you? Oh, man. I Yeah, props. Props. And literally for the rest of your life, he comes to your house like, ho, ho, ho. It just brings me mad and shit. And he's real for everyone. You know how many kids' lives you would change? Yeah. Just from sucking one dick. Dude, forget the fucking... Fuck those kids. Think about my life. <laughs> Think about how your, your, your asks change. Like, when I was a kid, I was asking for, like, toys and shit. This is, like, $45 in the 90s, and, like, I got thousands of gifts. Now I'd be like, yo, Santa... I fucking sucked you. Yeah. You can't bring me a million dollars. The least you could do. Is is yeah, all I want is like a Maserati or That's something. That's fine. You know what I mean? You know, just drop one off. You know who dropped one off with you. Yeah. A like time you, ago. Yeah, you dropped one off <laughs> at me. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would I would do it though, because think about how much laughter and happiness. Oh, and smiles oh, you, you would oh. bring. Imagine him just flying through the sky and be uh, like, all I had to do was suck him off once. Hey, dude, I tell you this right now. Uh, I had a dream once on... Whoa. No, no, no. Oh. Wait wait for it. The, all right. You know. I got a little scared. No, no, no. I didn't have a dream. Wait, are you saying, whoa, like you don't have gay dreams about people or just regular people? We're talking about a mythical man who brings you presents. Yeah. If there's any man to suck in history, it's St. Nick. You're I don't sucking. have reoccurring gay dreams. I've had some. Yeah. No, but I had a dream once that I saw Santa like flying off of my roof. And I was like, so I'm like, it was Christmas Eve and I had a dream like that. So it seemed so real. And I woke up and I was like, these idiots don't you would. Even know. You would have that dream. Yeah, dude. I was also 17. No, <laughs> it was also three nights ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he came early. I would be uh, fucking blown away if Jesus. If Jesus what? Dude, no, no, no! Oh, I was fucked up. Damn, dude, Catholics are coming for that ass. What I was about to say, I mixed up Santa and Jesus, Jesus, and 
I'm just going to say it. I was going to say, I don't know what I would do if Jesus sucked my dick. Whoa, man. Yeah, but I meant to oh, say... I didn't know if you were going to say all that. No, but I meant Santa. Oh. So that's why I stopped myself. Well, you never know. I mean, if you keep asking for it for Christmas, you keep writing down on your list, you might just get it <laughs> if you're a good boy, you know? Um, I have another song. <laughs> this is a hot start, man. It's supposed to be a Christmas oh, show, for God's sakes. You're over here talking about the Son of God in a, in vain. You're getting cold, dude. I'm not, you know, I was going to get you a gift, but forget it now. Oh, come on. Forget it, man. You just talked about, uh, you know, the newborn. It king. was an accident and I stopped myself, but I just reiterated what I was going to say. Now you're making me feel bad. And now I, have to, I don't know what I'm going to do now for the rest of the day. Cause now I'm upset. Listen, man, he said it, not me. I, I would never say that. Yo, come on. All right. Listen. I did it too. So the song Santa baby. Yeah. This is another one. That's a little, <laughs> you know what I mean? She's a filthy whore. Yeah, so Santa baby, and then it's slip a sable under the tree for me, which I don't know what that means, but it sounds hot. What's a sable? I don't know, a cat? <laughs> <laughs> what is a sable? I gotta look it up. Sable. Is it a sable? I know sable from wrestling. Yeah, I'd, oof, was... do I know that sable? Uh, sable? Oh, wait. Is it a bean? Wait. It's a cat. It's something with a short, sh- short tail, dark brown fur. Yeah, it's a cat. Native to Japan and Siberia. I think a sable is a cat. It's an animal. It's a species of a species of Martin. She wants a Who fucking. Who fuck is Martin? Uh, Martin Lawrence. Ricky Martin. I think so. Um, what was that? Oh, I was itching my face. Gotcha. Um, she wants a sable for Christmas. Already off to a hot start. You want like this exotic animal? Big ask off the bat. First yeah. verse, you wanna you wanna sable. It's a horse request. Yeah. Yeah. And then it goes to uh, Santa baby, a '54 convertible, two. What year was this written in? Probably not '54, man. Probably around there though. I didn't know people were that fucking horny. Dude, I, where do you get off asking Santa for a convertible? Even yeah, though I, I just asked him for a Maserati, but that's different. Yeah. I had a, I did a favor for him. Yeah. But you're just asking him, like, in the wind for no reason. Like, yo, give me a, a fucking, <laughs> this exotic cat. Under my tree. Under my tree. Then give me a, a 54 convertible. First of all, how's he even going to get it into your living room? This woman's disgusting. Yeah. Go on. And then... Um, oh, she wants it to be light blue. Didn't even. She has to be very specific about the color. She's Fuck. worse than the sweet sixteen kids. Yeah, this is this is this is something. It's Santa Claus. Yo, Josh. Josh, it's Santa. Josh, I think Santa's here. Josh. Josh. Come here. It's Santa. Santa rang the doorbell. Can you get that? Whatever that is. I don't know what it is. It could be chairs. Um. So, obviously, she says, hurry down the chimney tonight. That's, like, one of the famous parts of that song, you know? So, she's she's um, she's playing up from. Then it takes a turn. The song takes a turn. Mm-hmm. Think of all the fun I've missed. Think of all the fellas that I haven't kissed. Mm. So, she's so she's painting a picture of, like, I'm saving myself for you. Yeah, but she's also painting a picture, like, oh, like, you know, I could have got so much more dick. Yeah, but I didn't because yeah. I was waiting for you. Yeah. This is this is like this the is first gross. the first gold digger in, you know, Christmas history. You know how much think? more cock I could have got, but I waited for your old fucking wrinkly dick. Yeah, because I wanted a convertible and a and a and a sable. Yeah, she's a gold digging slug. Keep going. Yeah. Um next year I could be I could be also good if you'll check off my Christmas list. Now she's bribing him. That's a that's a that's a that's a bribe. That's a it's an innuendo though. That's a bribe though. I think it's like if you buy me all the stuff, then I'll be good. Like that's how that's hush money right there. What is, what does she know about Santa? Repeat that line again. Next year I could be also good if you'll check off my Christmas list. I think her Christmas list might be her her pussy or her asshole. I don't know. Wait, maybe gets, she maybe gets, she wants maybe she wants to be a bad girl this year. And get fucked. It wasn't for us? Nope, all for Damn it. Oh. Um, and then we have, now we have more. Santa baby, I want a yacht. And that's really, and really that's not a lot. A yacht? 
We're talking upwards of millions here. We're talking tens of hundreds of millions. Is that for a yacht? We're talking millions of dollars here, lady. With your convertible and your sable, which I don't even know if those are allowed to be in your neighborhood or to, you know, be domesticated. A sable on a yacht, though, is pretty hot. All of this is hot on yeah, a yacht. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's yeah. hot on a yacht. It's true. Yachts make things hotter. Yeah. So fucking true. Wait, what? Santa, honey, one thing I really do need, the deed to a platinum mine? She wants to fucking, what is this? Uh, there will be blood? What does she want? She wants to, She wants a mine. Who's she, Daniel she, Day-Lewis? Is she, was she a miner? She's a miner? She can go to a, a mine and, and mine platinum? No, oh, I hope she's not a miner. No, she, I think she's of age. But I'm not sure. Here's the song written by my seven-year-old daughter. Santa cutie and fill my stocking with a duplex and checks. That's Sign good. your ex on the line. This is about, yeah, this is a golden, golden slot. Um, come and trim my Christmas tree. Whoa, now we're talking Ooh. about. That is that is vagina hair. That's vagina hair. Let's get it. Yeah, a Christmas tree. I, I've heard that before. Trim my Christmas tree? Yeah, with some decorations bought at Tiffany. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Now she wants you to hang ornaments on her pubic hair. Yeah, she wants you to hang a, a locket in her pubes. I really do believe in you. Let's see if you believe in me. Santa baby, forgot to mention one little thing. A ring. God damn, dude. This guy can't get a break. This is a long night for Santa. Yeah, no, nah, this is a—I mean, the long night for the elves to make all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's true. And then, and then she, she, so as long as she doesn't get pregnant, he's all right. Yeah, I mean, this is not the type of woman you yeah. want. You want to not? No, no, no. Here. That that woman's a disgusting gold digging slut. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, man. No, but it's a little crazy, man. That you know, you have to, you got to deal with people like that. Then you give them an inch, you take them out. What are you doing? My bow fell off. Yeah, I see that. For sure, I see that. I'm trying to put my bow back on. Guys, go. Tell them about the Patreon while I do this. Yeah, guys, Um, two things. One, go follow at Santagato Studios on Instagram. There's going to be a lot of content of Danny, uh, you know, struggling with his newfound outfit here. Josh! Um, no, leave Josh out of here. I'll just stick it on your P head. Put it on my head. Um, put it on my what? head. I'm just gonna take this. No, I'm gonna take it. Okay, put it on yourself. Yeah. Oh. You're right. You're right. You're right. We'll just put this here. Um, but yeah. So anyway, with our Patreon, we're changing up the Patreon in 2020. Mm. Um, you know, we haven't had a guest in a really long time. So what we decided to do is we're gonna make content every day of the week for our Patreon. So on Patreon, the lowest tier is five dollars. With that, you will get. Every episode, full video, uh, a week ahead. Okay? So, you're watching this episode right now on Monday, if you are. Also, on Patreon, will be an episode, full video like this, of next week's episode, already up there. Look at that. So you, you guys wanted the video, now you got it. So I worked my little brown hands to the bones. Yeah. And then the <laughs> next, and then the next tier is $10. And with that, uh, you get um, the episode a week ahead, and you get all this content. So you get a what the fuck does Patreon want? What the fuck does Patreon want? Where patrons can send in questions, and me and Danny do a Q and A. We do that biweekly, and then also biweekly, we're going to be doing episodes with guests. So people like Keith, mm -hmm. you know, people like a man or mm -hmm. whoever, or your favorite social media influencers who happen to be in new york so we're going to record some episodes with them as well that's right so we're going to be doing extra episodes on there um also and the patreon exclusive oh wait that's a lie i think we're getting rid of that yeah right? we're getting rid of that this is it yeah now. so we're doing two exclusive patreon episodes, episodes a with month. guests that's in the ten dollar tier right and then the last tier is going to stay the same. It's the fifty dollar tier. That's just personal shout outs. That's just personal shout outs and, and everything, everything that we're else. talking about. Yeah, and uh, and the patrons also get uh, merch um, codes before anyone else does, um, so they get full first dibs at that before it sells out. You're killing it, dude. I mean, you're <laughs> every time you move, I'm like, what is this kid doing? You're killing it. Come on. Oh, we do have one sponsor for the show today. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do the Santa, baby. I really want to get stuff from you. So I'll suck your weird old penis tonight. That's a more realistic. That's what That's what the 2019 version of that song should be. Yes. And guys, if you are someone like Santa Claus, 
you have a dangerous job. You're flying through the air. You're going all over the place. It's very dangerous. In all actuality, you could die, but you don't want to die without life insurance. No. <laughs> don't. And now we have <clears throat> Policy Genius, okay? Policy Genius makes finding the right life insurance a breeze. Breeze. A, a, a you know, a summer breeze, if, if you will. Uh, in minutes, you can compare quotes from the top insurers to find your best price. You could save $1,500 or more a year by using Policy Genius to compare life insurance policies. Now, you're going to need that, okay? $1,500 is a lot of money. With that, you can afford all the stuff. Not all the stuff, but some of the stuff. You could probably buy a Sable with that. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's going to be a low-end Sable, but you could get it. You can get one. I'll, I'll talk to my guy. Once you apply, the Policy Genius team will handle all the pay paperwork and red tape, and uh, it doesn't just make life insurance easy. They can also help you find the right home and auto insurance or disability, disability insurance. Um, so if you need life insurance but aren't sure where to start, why not start at policygenius.com? It only takes a few minutes to find the right life insurance policy, apply, and cross another thing off your to-do list. Mm. Uh, policy Genius. Okay, peeps? Go check it out. Go check out the Policy Genius. Policygenius.com. You know what's the best insurance? Life insurance. Because it's your life. You only live one life, you know? So if you go down, don't leave me with the bill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. There is one more song, though, I wanted to talk about. Yeah, it's like, it's like the mo most obvious one. Um, Baby, It's Call Outside. Like, we still sing that. I actually will go on record and say it's one of my favorite Christmas songs, but there is a, you know, a rape happening here. Yeah, that's a full-on rape. That's a full-on R word here. Yeah. Um, full-on rapist. The whole song is a back and forth between a woman and a man, and the man is like, you, you sh he has all these excuses of why she needs to sleep over. And then at one point, she, um, he's like, yo, you should have a, a drink. And she's like, you know, I can't, uh, you know, whatever. And he's like, all right, I'll make you a drink. <laughs> You know, yeah. she's like, no, I can't have a drink. He's like, no, nah, yeah, I'll make it. Don't worry about it. Uh, you know, it's it's where it's just like, and the, the neighbors might think, and he's like, it's it's bad out there. And then she says, "What's in this drink?" Yeah, we're talking about Rufal in here. That's a Cosby Cosmo. Yeah, right there. That's a that's a yes. That's exactly what it is. It's, oh yeah, it's it's a Cosby cocktail there. Cosby cock. Um, Nothing goes bit ha more hand in hand than Christmas and Rufalin. Yeah. I simply must go. And he said, baby, it's cold outside. And then she and she goes, the answer is no. His reply is, once again, baby, it's cold outside, which is not a reply. You know what I mean? He's trying to save her life? No, I don't think so. He's trying to fucking knock boots. Yeah. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to have dirty sex. He, yeah, that's exactly what's happening. Yeah. My sister will be suspicious. Actually, it's no suspicion. My brother would be there at the door. Please, you need to try to go slow. Oh, maybe she's maybe she's sucking him. No, no, stop it. Wait, hear There's, me out. No, no, no. Just this woman hear me needs out. help. This woman needs our help, Danny. Well, no, no, no. But what I'm saying is maybe she's like getting he's she's jerking him off. She's like, yeah, I should probably go. And he wants to go all the way, you know. And he's just getting a little getting a little pushy now. I don't know, man. It says. I don't know all the lyrics. Keep going. Lend me your coat. It's up, and he says it's up to your knees out there. And she's like, "You really have been grand." And then he said, I f "I'm feeling you touch my hand." Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There was a physical. There was some happened there. She's like, "But don't you see?" And he said, "How could you do this to me?" She said, uh, "There's bound to be talk tomorrow." And then, uh, at least there will be plenty implied. And he's like, "Think of my life." And then he says, "Something like, what's the sense of hurting my pride?" Yeah. But he also said, "If you got, if you caught pneumonia and died, so now he's like throwing out there that she could possibly die. And that, how bad is this storm? Though? Yeah, Jesus, where are you going? Yeah. How far are you walking? It actually, now that I'm, you know, it does sound it's not a safe house to be in. But maybe go to a neighbor's house. But this doesn't sound like a storm you should walk in if he's saying no, all this stuff. No, no, no. Like maybe, maybe uh, I don't know. And it honestly just ends. It says she goes, I really can't stay. And then he says, get over that holdout." And then it's, ah, but it's cold outside. That's how it ends. So we don't really know if she stayed or who, she died of pneumonia in the storm or made it home. Who spoke last, him or her? I think it was a, a mutual kind of... It oh, is, you know, okay. Talk, okay. This is a song about weather. I was saying maybe she fell asleep from the roof alone. I mean, she could... Uh, yeah, she could have hit the floor on yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, but yeah. I, I don't really know, to yeah. be honest with you. 
These, it's kind of weird how all these songs mean weird stuff. They're very sexual. Yeah. I very mean, sexual. Well, I don't know if I like it. I don't like it either, man. It's just so it, crazy because it was like literally like 20 years ago. No. It's like 40 years ago. 40 years ago, it was like cool to make these like remarks at women. Yeah. I saw that thing on the news where that guy was running. Did you see that? Running? This woman was like covering like a, like a, some kind of marathon or something 5k or something and she's like yeah we got some runners here guy runs by her slaps her right on the ass yeah what'd she do she just looked flabbergasted she was like she i think she wanted to say fuck but then she realized she's in tv and can't say it and she was just like yeah the guy walked by ran by her smacked her right on the butt and kept running yeah so some of those old school people are still alive they're still alive and kicking. Dude, they're psychos, man. Yeah. I. It would have been great if she just threw the mic down and took off after him. Yeah, or just fucking unleashed a fucking curse-filled tirade on him. Because you can't... You're not going to lose your job. I just uh, sexually assaulted on TV. Yeah, I'm going to react. But she handled it like a pro, which is good for her. She should have handled it like a pro fighter. And just fucking give this guy Ripped a one-two. F- yeah. Just it, fucking armbarred him and shattered his fucking joints. I want you to think of a guy that slapped your ass. Me? No, not in real life. Like, <laughs> I was like, what do you... I want you to think of a guy that would slap someone's ass. Mm-hmm. He looks just like that. Okay. An older one. Yeah. You got him? Yeah. Yeah. It looks just like him. Nice. Yeah. Good. Yeah. And he, like, did a shit, little shit-eating grin, too, as he ran oh, off. Oh, you piece of bastard. Yeah, yeah. Piece of bastard. I like that. Piece of bastard. I like piece of bastard a lot. I, that one just flew out of me. I don't know Pizza why. Pizza bastard. I lo- now, that's a that's a thing I could get behind. Yeah. I'm, that's a that's a business. I'm a pizza bastard. Yeah. That's a great sweater, by the way. You like it? Yeah, I'm really into that. I got balls on it. Look. This is E. <laughs> I'm just going to say, if we went to a Christmas party and there's a costume party there, I think we win. Yeah. I think we win it. It's a shame that they don't do costume parties for Christmas. I think Christmas is a great time of year to dress up. I have a lot of sweaters. Yeah. So I think that we should start. If we go out from now on, Mm. we should wear a sweater. I'm in. I'm in. Like if we go to a bar... We're both sober gals now. Yeah, though. it's true. So we can go in there and get a couple seltzers. But this was this was plan number two. Because the the wrapping. Yeah, because I had a sweater, but I'm too fat now. It doesn't fit the boy. No. You grew out of the sweater. Yeah. Did you tumble dry? Yeah. You tumble dry. Yeah, I tumble dried and shrunk shrunk. Yeah. And then I grew grew. Yeah, you did. Which you mix the two two and it doesn't work. Yeah. No, no, no. But I was just like, you know what? I want to be a big present. Because I feel like I am a big present. I'm a big present to the world. Look at this confidence booming yeah. out of you. Yeah. Christmas time. I, have com- I do have confidence. You do? I've been oozing with confidence. Yeah, I mean, don't ooze on the carpet. No, I won't, but I just have, I've had some great things happen in my life recently. What happened? I had a nice eventful meeting the other day. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm so glad we can talk about this now. Yeah. Um, guys, Merry Christmas. Danny's a model. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm officially a model, okay? Yeah. Um, With an agency and everything. Yeah, so... Um, He's a plus-size model. Yeah, so... But they, f- they fucking shit on you, though. They did shit on me. Because in the meeting, they said that... Oh, this is my story. Let me tell it. Oh, yeah, do it. <laughs> I almost... Right. <laughs> so I go meet uh, with the agency or whatever. And, um, you know, I'm looking very nice. I'm a nicely dressed man. Oh, yeah, you look great. I looked great. Um, so I go in there, I'm having the meeting and the guy's like, so what do you want to do? Also the guy's name, should I say his name? Hell yeah. His name was Sparrow. Gay as the day is long. He was a gay man? Oh yeah. Great guy. Fantastic. Oh, he was a gay Sparrow. A yeah, gay Sparrow. Sparrows are birds. He was yeah. a gay bird. You know when someone tells you what their name is and you're just like, that makes sense. Well, this guy made sense. Well, Sparrow just sounds like a very evil biker, man. No, a sparrow sounds like a fucking vulnerable gay bird. See, I'm getting a different vibe from Sparrow. Really? I'm thinking of Sparrow. He's got one eye or something. He's got no. Like, you know, you know you're thinking like, of Jack Sparrow. Well, no, I'm thinking of you know how like 
when people have that cut that's like vertical over their eye. Yeah. And it looks awesome. Yeah, it does look cool. I, that's how I picture a okay. sparrow. No, and no, maybe no. a tattoo on the neck. No, no, no. This guy had Yeezys on and was very, very, very flamboyant. Was he hot? Good looking guy. Nice. Good looking guy. So he looks at, uh, he, I go in there and he goes, hey, um, do me a favor. Uh, and once I heard do me a favor, I said, this guy's going to make me suck his dick. Because when I got there, there was very casting couchish. Oh, there was a couch? Yeah, there was a white couch. And then my sick freak mind yeah. goes into another realm. But I'm down for the cause. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get this deal. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So he wasn't going to like, even if he was kidding, I would have said yes, just to so show him how down I am. Right. Yeah. Then he asked me, would you do nudity? And I said, yeah. Wait, that was his first question? It was one of them. Wait, this yeah. guy, within the first five minutes of meeting you, asked you if you would dump that D out? Well, they ask you, like, what are you comfortable doing? What are you not comfortable doing? And I was like, yo, I'm down for anything. And then they were like, nudity? And I was like, yeah. Are you down for nude? Yeah, I'll fucking dump this dick. I don't care. They got to fluff me, though. I'm not going in there soft. God. You know what I mean? If I get, if I have the opportunity to slap it around a little bit before I get in there, I'll take we'll snap whatever picture you want. <laughs> slap it around. I cannot wait till they pull me if they see this. Oh, it's but gonna be. The, it's whatever. I'll go to another one. First of all, not only that, but you already did it, bud. You're a model. Yeah, no, no I'm done already. No one can take that away from me. I sh they're looking for work for me. I should have something in the next three to six weeks. That'd be dope. So hopefully I get something. If not, then you know maybe I go elsewhere. But I am I am a, a model technically. Yeah. Um. So I sit down. We're talking about getting naked and stuff. And then he goes, "Let me see your Instagram." Mm. Yeah. And then that picture that I took up against the wall when I was just fucking looking buff, and like you know my 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 dick was out, you know. And um, he goes, "Wow, you're really you're really handsome." And I was like, "Thank you, thank you." He's like, "No, you like you really have like a good look to you." You have a very, uh, he, the word that he used was, it's like a, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word. Powerful. It wasn't a powerful, but it was long. It was like brutish. Okay. It was like that kind you of got word. A, you got a brute sex appeal. Yeah. He didn't use the word burly because I would have laughed and I would have remembered, but he yes. was like, you got like a brutish look to you. Nice. You know? Okay. Yeah. So in my head, I'm like, nice. Yeah. Nice. Like an like a orc from it, Lord of the Rings. Right. And he was like, you know, you're not really plus size though. Shit on you. Said you're not fat. I'm fat. You got to throw that. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you worked hard to be fat. Yeah, dude. I want to be a plus size model. I don't want to be in the pool with the sharks. I want to be in a pool with the fat sharks. Yeah. The, the Yeah. I want to be, I want to be fat. So when I'm doing that, he's like, you know, it's like you're, you're, you're actually quite muscular. Wow. This is fucked up. Man. So I'm like, yo, does this guy not know that you like went as far as, as getting diabetes. Yeah. To be fat. Like you earned this. I tried to tell him. Yeah. I said, dude, listen. Like I, I, listen, I ate and drank myself. I said, I'm 248 too. pounds. I'm a plus size model. Yeah, man. So now I don't know if he thinks I'm joking or not, like at this point, because he's like, <laughs> you got serious with him. Yeah. And I, and he was like, are you okay with us taking 20% of your commission? I go, it's not about the money. Yeah. I look at him in the face. I go, it's not about the money. It's, it's about beautiful. being a star. It's beautiful. Yeah. Dude. And he was, and yeah, and they're gonna I, make a movie after you. Yeah, and at that point, he I'm was, gonna make the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll produce it and act in it. I'll be myself. We're just gonna film a video. Yeah, that's fine. And he was like, he's like, all right, like, all right, that's cool. He's like, but here's the thing, though. It's like, you already have like a pretty big audience, like a huge audience. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, but like, you know, I want to be in the rooms with people, you know, meet, make connections with this, you know, meet meet other people in the industry. And he was like, all right, cool. Um, and he takes my Instagram and just starts scrolling through my Instagram. Whoa, dude. While talking to me. Does and he know you used to be even more plus size? I think he got down there. He got down. And then there's a picture of me on my Instagram where I'm like hulking up a little bit. Yeah. And he was like, wait, that's you? And I was like, yeah. He's like, I don't know if you could be plus size. He fucking non fat shamed me. This is disgusting behavior. It's, it, it is disgusting. I'll be honest with you. It, it really is. He non-fat shamed me. He non-fat shamed me. And so then what I did walked, he do? He I walked out of there thinking I was skinny now, and now I'm not. Did he compliment you in there? He complimented me. 
What an asshole. See, when that was happening, I said, this guy just is, this is, this is shady. This is shady. This Listen, is shady. I, I'm walking in here, a fat man. You're telling me I'm not fat now? Do you think I'm not fat enough? I'm not good enough? Yeah, that's. He doesn't think you're good enough. I think that's what it is. Oh. Okay. And then what I said to him, yeah, I know. I, I didn't want to tell you because I knew you get upset. I, we got to go down there now. Yeah, of course. Also, if you want, we could, I'll get a pizza in here. And we'll I'll, finish it. Listen. I'll clean a pizza right now with you. I'm ready. I'm ready. Sparrow, I'm down for the cause. Yeah. You know? And I was like, hey. Um, we got to prove him wrong. Yeah, we're going to prove him wrong. And once I get booked work, I'm going to I'm gonna send the check, tw- send the 20% to him individually. Yeah. Danny's willing to die for this. I'm willing. I really am willing to die for this we'll, because we'll, I just. We'll clog an artery for this. This is 100%. 100%. Well, like 90% so we can survive. Yeah, that's true. 100%. You're it's in trouble. You're, you're in trouble. 90% yeah, yeah, yeah. clogged. You're though. right. You're right. Um, and then he really looked at me and was like, you really want to be a plus size model? Sunned me. Wow, man. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I had to convince this guy like 30 times that I want to be a plus size model. Because I think honestly, but he was like. I think he thought I was a little too good looking. That's disrespectful and, to the whole shit. Which I kind of felt. I kind of felt that. I'm going to lose my deal. Um, <laughs> but I was just like, you know, like. What's, I, you know what's even better than becoming a model? Being immediately dropped. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to happen. I don't give a shit. Whatever. Okay, it was all about getting in there and, and putting Well, some we didn't in. say, you know, any names besides, you know, the bird. Yeah, that's it. I'm not going to say the agency. Yeah, no. Uh, but, you know, so when I was in there, I was like, whoa, this guy is really making me feel good about myself. But also shitting all over me. Yeah, it's the modeling business, baby. You got to be tough. Yeah, and he was like, well, like, we have all your pictures. And he was like, yo, taking a picture like this takes huge confidence. And I just looked at him, and I was like, yeah, but I was born with it. Damn, dude, you were throwing gems at Yeah, man, because I went in there. The first thing I said, I go, listen, I I have a huge audience. Realistically, is what can you guys do for me? Wow, you walked in there and just like did that, did that? Yeah, yeah. I want because if I go in there, I'm like, yeah, you know, I want to take headshots and you didn't want to get. Well, let's do that. No, yeah. let's get right down to the nitty gritty. Mm. I have an audience. Yeah, I have a fucking sick body. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hey, I want to be a model. Yeah, and he was like, you really want to be a model? And I was like, you know, yeah. You know what you should have said? You said, I don't want to be a model. I am a model. Woo! I should have fucked. Then, and then walked out. And then walked back in and be like, what do I, how do I, sign, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I so sign? how do we make this official? Yeah. Who do I email? Did you sign a paper? Yeah, they make you do that because if they, once you get like the work, you know, they put you in like a, uh, a system. Yeah. So like they churn you out. They'll probably just send a picture of my fucking junk out a bunch of places. Yeah. And then uh, see if anything hits. Nice. You know, and then he was like, you know, he's like, maybe you should think about like hiring like an agent too, like a regular agent. I was like, dude. One step at a time. One just get this dick. Out, just get this dick out of, on a billboard. Yeah, I'd like to see you in Times Square. I would love to see a fifty-foot billboard of this dick. I would love to see even twenty. I'll take twenty. Twenty foot. I'll take the twenty footer. I think we can make that happen here. We should get a billboard. We could do it. One hundred percent. If if they ended up dropping you because you know we made a couple jokes about them, then you know what we're gonna have to do is buy a billboard then. And we'll put it in, like, you know, Delaware, so it's, like, eight bucks, and we'll just drive the eight hours to see it. If We, we should put one up in Queens. A billboard of you? Yeah. I don't know if you, you can get approved. Yeah, you can, dude. You make can. It, we'll do, like, a still fat thing or something. Yeah, and if they don't put us up, we could, we could you know, go after them. For yeah, fashion. just say, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah put your... that picture of that fat guy up there, you, you, you fattest. Yeah, exactly. Oh, well, they're fat shamers is the term. I, think. I like fattest. It yeah. sounds, it hits harder. Yeah. But like what, sh- but we could run into a problem. What if we go to the, the billboards and we say, yo, man, want to put this guy up there? And like, I can't, I'm sorry. He's, you know, it's too much nudity. Or he's whatever. a fat freak. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, they say that's what, but they, and then we go, yo, it's, is it because he's fat? And then he goes, no, that guy's not fat. Now we're back at square one with this problem here. So I think what I have to do is I need to take this next holiday and just, and just fucking destroy it. Yeah. Then walk back into Sparrow's office and be like, who's fat now? Give me a fucking plus size deal. Don't throw me in this thing. I'm special. Yeah. Plus plus. Um, special. Yeah. How many times do I have to tell you, Sparrow? Yeah. That I'm fucking special. Does this guy have a ponytail? It sounds ponytail. No, he didn't, but he just had like a very like Miami tan. 
Damn, he's rich probably. Yeah, yeah, he had super straight laser teeth. Like they just look like they just been worked on all day. He uh, has like that that blue thing you put in your mouth at night, that blue light mouth thing. Oh yes, from yeah. Instagram. Yeah, I think he has one of those. He smelled good. Um, yeah, because I hugged him. Um, but uh, you're a hugger. Yeah, I'm a hugger. Um, I didn't hug this man. <laughs> <laughs> It's not because he was gay. I just don't hug strangers. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so when I walked out of there, I was like, dude, I'm super excited. Called Joe. Three seconds later, got hit by a car. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot you got hit by a car. I'm talking to Danny. He goes, yo, I got it. And I was like, that's awesome. I was like, And then I asked him a question. He didn't answer me. And then the next text was, I just got hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm looking down at my phone, which you shouldn't be doing when you're crossing the street in New York. It's a big mistake, rookie mistake. Shouldn't have done it. But I was so fucking excited, yeah, that I had to tell I had to tell the crew. You were you know like was, Will Smith in the Pursuit of Happiness. You walk out and you're like <sighs> clapping and, and crying. You probably felt so hot because you're like I'm a model, bro. And these I, fucking peasants walking by me don't even know the kind of star I'm about to be, dude. There was three people in the waiting room, and I was like, you guys have fucking nothing on me. Yeah. I was hotter than everybody in there. Were you, though? Yes, oh. I was. I was. <laughs> a compl- uh, when a gay man tells you that you're handsome, yeah. you're fucking handsome. I don't care what you say. You're on cloud nine. Yeah. I was like, I'd rather have a gay man tell me that I am a handsome gentleman than the hottest girl I've ever seen. Uh, yeah. Yes. Because it just means more. It just means more. It just, it, just, it just means more to me. It just does. Yeah. And then, yeah, so I was crossing the street. I was on my phone. I was talking to Joe for a little bit via text. And I was like, oh, my lift's here. But as I'm going to my lift, I'm looking down, and a car was making a left turn, and it hit my right leg, and I spun, and I fell. Dude, was it going fast? No, nah, it was going like, how fast can you make a turn? Eight miles an hour? Oh, but yeah. it's a fucking 3,000-pound machine. You know, it's going to throw me because I'm not plus size. And, and then <laughs> tossed you a little twink ass. So it tossed me, and I like I did like the little whiplash, and I fell onto the street. Did you hit your head on the ground? I did not hit my head on the ground. I fell forward. You know how like Jonah Hill gets like hit in super bad. That's kind of <laughs> that's kind of what it was like. You got hit like that? Yeah, but then the people around because there's mad people around their city like, oh my god, you're alright. And I'm like, yo, dude, I'm fine, man. Like I'm perfectly fine. Uh, the guy gets out. He's like, oh my god. Well, and then I was like, dude, it was my fault. I walked in the middle of the street, shouldn't have done it. it wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. He was like, God, you know, like he was kind of like, are you okay? But then it kind of was like, oh, like, what were you doing? Yeah. Don't do good. I hate when they do that. Just make sure I'm okay. Don't ask me what I'm doing. Yeah. I just told you I'm fine. Let it go. Well, fuck yeah. you. Yeah. You know? And then uh, I was like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. And then I got in my lift and the adrenaline wore off. And I was like, my leg hurts. Oh, you started dealing with yeah. Stuff. I was like, my leg kind of hurts, but thankfully I'm okay. You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got no nicks, no bruises, just a little fuck. And actually, my back was hurting. I feel fine. I got hit by a car, and my back got better. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, because Danny was in bad shape. He couldn't even stand the other day. Yeah, it was I had to awful. drag him like literally yeah, across the floor to get to his chair over there. Yeah, and then you got hit by a car, and now you're good. I Who th- the fuck needs a chiropractor? Saved me like ten grand, but I, I honestly could have made money off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have uh, yeah. probably not though. You stepped down to the street. Yeah, it was it was totally my fault. Yeah. I I felt bad because this poor guy looked like he was just having a shit day already, and I was like, dude, don't worry about him. Fine, my car's right here because now I have two minutes before my car departs. I can't stay here and talk, fill out a police report. I gotta go home. Yeah, I gotta share this business with my friends and family. Yeah, right. You know, I really hope they call me. Who? Like, I really hope I get something in three to six weeks. Oh, I do, too. Because if I get something, I know I'm going to knock it out of the park. I know I'm going to kill it. It's just that can it's, you imagine, it's the anticipation, Joe. Can you imagine it's like, dude, we're doing Calvin Klein? Yeah. That would be insane. It would be insane. That's a little bit shoot for the stars. Shoot I mean, for the a, moon. I'd say it's a lot of bit. I'm down to shoot for the moon, but I'm cool landing amongst those stars. Damn, I've read that in a fifth grade classroom before. For sure, for sure. I'm down. I'll cruise the stars. I'll go from star to star. Yeah. This Couple is all bullet, bulletin board material. Yeah. That's all I want to do is just I just want to make my imprint, you know, and I want it to be a plus size one. 
Yeah, it's gonna that's be. A, it's gonna be a big. That's all he said. My shoulders like were big, like mm-hmm. I, like I have big traps and stuff. Yeah, and he was like, you know, it's like you're you're like you're kind of muscular. And then he was like, if you lost weight, you could be like a. He didn't say a real model, but like a model model. So I was just, <laughs> I was like, yo, dude, can you get, can you, can we work on one thing here? Yeah. Let me be fat. And I, now I'm not fat enough, you piece of fucking shit. So you're just like a schmedium. Nah, I'm fat. Yeah, I mean, Don't I. Don't fucking disrespect me. No, no, I would, I, I'd say you're fat. I'd say that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sparrow. <laughs> Motherfucker got me. <laughs> I would say you're fat. Thank you so much. Yeah, please. Somebody say it. God damn it. Someone <laughs> sign Yeah. But yeah, I'm a legitimate model. I'm looking for work. Um, if anyone's watching. He's a freelance right now, I guess. Yeah, probably after this. Yeah, probably. Probably but, uh, out. Probably but no. Out. Yeah, but I've uh, I've made it in the model world. I'm, I'm here. I'm out there. Pictures are out there. I'm ready to fucking go, dude. Yeah. yeah Did excited. you take any headshots there or anything? Nope. He said we don't need them. We got enough from my Instagram. But what they said the was... The modeling world has changed. Well, yeah. What they did... The thing was, is like, I thought it would be a lot more intimidating, but it wasn't. Because you took control of the room. Yeah. You walked in there like, here's what's going to happen. I refused to take no for an answer. Like, he kept reiterating, like, you really want to be a plus-size model? Yeah. I had to say it like five times. Guy doesn't fucking believe in me, bro. I got my own dreams and shit. I want to be fat on top of a billboard. I want to be fat in a magazine. I want to be fat on top of fucking strippers. What? Minus that part. We'll edit that part out, but you know what I'm saying. On top of them. Yeah, I don't want to have sex with them. I just want to lay upon them like job of the hut. You want to just lay on women. Yeah, I just want to lay on women. This has been so ridiculous. Yeah, it's been a pretty ridiculous. One. It's been it's been it's been something. You think you could model? You could model no, for sure. No, no, no. no yes, no, no, yes, no. yes. Uh, no, yes. Maybe, maybe, maybe one day, but no. You don't believe in yourself? I don't believe in myself. Ah, oh, come on. I got no confidence. Come on. If I could do it, you could do it. I'm in a different arena. I'm in a yeah. different division. Yeah, you're in a different division. You know what I mean? But you could still got it. You got the look. I would have to work my way up from the minors. We all gotta start somewhere, baby. I, I really I come from very humble beginnings. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't. There was one time I did a photo shoot. Man, was that weird. Are those all those pictures where you're like looking down and then like over here and you're like up here? Were you under a bridge or something? Like under the train station? Oh yeah. Yeah, you were, right? Yeah. Why do they why do they make you do that so much? Like just look at the floor. Because it's mysterious and sexy. Nah, stay, I want to stare in your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, I don't need all that nonsense. I want to look at you get fucking sexy. No, but... so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, the photo shoot is just so weird because you, you just stand there. Yeah. And then people just are taking pictures of you and you're supposed to just, like, continue to pose. You know w- what I'm w- Was there music? Yeah, but it doesn't, like, help. You don't dance. No, but it, it, I think music would help me get in the mood to, like, keep taking pictures. I guess. I just, like, you know? I find I find it so weird. And especially because there's so many people just watching you. Well, I mean, when you're not in the business, you know, you are going to feel that way. But I understand. You can learn to like it. I know. I need You need to show me the ropes, I guess. That's what the thing is. I got you. I'll take care of you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll bring you around. Once you see this, once you see the world we live in. You're really gonna be like you're gonna t- get a hankering for it. Oh, you're already like you're you're in it. You have a bunch of model friends now. Yeah, in my mind. Yeah. I, I do. I have model friends. Yeah, I do. I have friends that are models. Okay. Male. Male models. Yeah. Nice. Some female. I know. I know one male model. Yeah. Yeah, it's dude. I forget his name, man. But he's like he's famous on social media. Guys are rocket. Guys are straight rock. Oh. Good for him. Yeah, man. Sometimes, That's... sometimes you see him and you're like, oh damn, man. I, you know, you think you're good looking, and then you see people like that, and you go, man, this is, I really got to get it together. Yeah. You That's know. usually every day I walk out of my house. But um, not that day. Not that day. No one was shaking my fucking my shake right there. Sorry, so, I, I'm making so much noise. Are you able to like get out of that if you wanted to? Yeah. Nope. Can't. I don't think I can get out. Oh, so now, oh, all right. Now we're working. 
You look like Iron Man. Thank your you, your body has to be sweating in there. Oh, I am drenched. <laughs> I am fucking soaked. You know when you know when that perfect bead of sweat runs down your spine, splits your cheeks like a goddamn forty-five yard field goal, and just drops into your asshole. Yeah, that's what just happened to me. Yeah, as soon as I did that, split the uprights. You just <laughs> you just felt it just slide all the way down. Oh, and it just went scoop like the cliff diver at splish splash. <laughs> it just went right in there. No splash. No splash. Clean. Whoa. Yeah. There was a popping. No, 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 no. No, of course. Yes, 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 yes. Um, uh, by the way, I just wanted to, because I just want to get back to, you know, the ham thing. You, oh. you guys eat ham on Christmas? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. This show isn't official unless we talk about ham. I also just wanted to say that hey, I looked up ham the other day. Mm hmm. Man, is that bad for you? Oh, yeah. Not great. Not, not a great nutritious meal. Do you know the facts? I know that it's full of salt. I, I, I believe. Cup of ham. What is a cup, anyway? A, a cup. I'm just going to repeat what you said. Um, yeah, so a cup of ham. <sighs> okay, a cup of ham. How many calories? Three hundred fifty. One hundred eighty-six. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I thought because it was high in fat, maybe it had fat c content. Um, how much? There's 1,300 milligrams of sodium. In a cup? In a cup of ham. Jesus. 1,300. Are you supposed to have like 2,000 a day? Uh, daily sodium intake. How far? 2,300. How far into the show are we right now? 56 minutes. All right, I got to take this off. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to tough it out. Christmas spirit. Fuck you guys. The American Heart Association recommends no more than 2,300 milligrams a day and moving toward an ideal limit of no more than 1,500 per day for most adults. So a cup of ham and your 1,300. <laughs> American Heart Association fucking suck this mop right here. Dude. Schmop this top. You know how much sodium I'm going to have in my body on Christmas? Oh, my God. I could eat an entire ham if I needed to. Do you guys get cool stuff, though? Like, do you guys do, like, crab cakes? Like, something that's really good but out the box? We don't do crab cakes. We do crab cakes. I eat, like, 70 of them, thanks. Yeah? Yeah. I, I love fucking crab cakes, dude. I would crush a crab cake right now. I just hate when you go to crab, get a crab cake somewhere, you never know what size it's going to be. And I always hate asking people what the size is. I'm like, oh, is it one? Oh, it's a crab cake. I'm like, how big are they? Are they this big? Are they, do they look like this? You have one of these? And then it's like the person gives me some fucking circle with their hand. It doesn't even look like that when it gets there. It's twenty nine dollars. I can't relate to any of this. You've never asked somebody like about a portion, a when crab cake. Are you getting what's going on over there? Oh, I'm, I'm stretching my legs out. I'm comfy. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. See, try that. Ooh, I almost kicked over a candle. That's nice, right? Yeah, it is. Ooh. Oh, we're playing footsie, dude. Yeah, we are. All right, all right, let's see who wins, though. Damn it. Very Damn it. Yeah, Damn very it. powerful feed. Yeah. Um, Damn, you, that was my first footsie in years. I haven't played footsie like in a while. I used to, you know what I used to do? I used to lay on the couch with my sister and we put our feet up against each other. Our, our feet? Feet yes. up against each other. And then we were just like a bike. Oh, though, that was the best. <laughs> that was the best. In unison. Nothing better. Yeah. We would just bike together with yeah. our feet. I don't know why. And I'll, I, I've done this. I'm 27 now. I've probably, you know, the last time I did it was 25. Two years. I would bring it back this year. I'd Why the fuck not? I'd bring it back. I'd bring it back for Christ sure. A Christmas morning kind of cycle. You've never asked somebody at a restaurant, like, how big a portion was? Not crab cakes. I mean, I don't, oh. I don't know this whole, like, crab cake kind oh. of thing. I've done that. Oh. You ever ask someone, like, how's your, how's this thing? And they go, it's good. But like, do they ever go to trash? Yes. Really? Yes. 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 I've had I've had waiters be like, "Yo, don't get that." Really? Yeah. And I love when they do that. I've I, never heard that ever. I love when they do that. They'd be like, "No, nah, no, nah, you don't want to." Don't I've to I've heard waiters be like, "You know, should we get this or that?" And he goes, "Oh, this easily." And I'm like, "Okay, so clearly yeah. this is like a good dish compared to the other." But I've never heard them be like, "How's your ribeye?" And he goes, it's "Fucking garbage, actually." Yeah, I've had that. I'm more, on more than one occasion. Do you remember what you were like ordering? I remember one time I went to uh, 
some place. I don't want to shit in the establishment, but it rhymes with Shmimi Fridays. Okay. Okay. And I was like, hey, it's TJ Fridays. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So I was like, and hey, it sucks. It also. sucks. Yeah, TGI Fridays is trash. So I was like, yo, should I get the burger or the steak? And he just looks at me and goes, dude, the steaks here are awful. And I was just like, this guy's either quitting tomorrow or is just the most brutally honest waiter of all time. And I got a burger and it was also terrible. Yeah. But it w- would have been better than the steak because I saw somebody get the steak and it was like black. <sighs> it was disgusting. I haven't been to it. You know, I've never eaten at a TGI Fridays. What? Yeah. You never gone there too for like the cyclone like drinks and all that shit? No, man. Damn, they have great deals. <laughs> yeah, it's because it all costs two dollars to make. It's all fake. Yeah. It's all synthetic. It's gross. Yeah, but you want to know what else is gross? I've also never eaten vegan synthetic beef. Just eat vegetables. What are we doing? Yeah. If why? If you're like vegetarian, like, just eat vegetables. Yeah. Why you? Why you gotta have what we have? Get your own. Get your own. Go have a salad. Yeah. Go have some chickpeas. Bang a fucking couple mushrooms together. Turn it into a fucking burger. Shut the fuck up. You know what I think? You fucking uh, what? What's it called? Who? The vegan shit. Tofu? No, no, no. I actually like tofu. But uh, uh, the Beyond shit, the Beyond meat. Oh, from like. Fast food now. That has shit is beyond. fucking gross. Is it? Yeah. I haven't. I haven't tried it. Nor it's disgusting. will disgusting. Eat if you're a vegetarian. Eat vegetables. Don't try to be like us. You wanted to get away from us. I don't want your vegan stuff with my other stuff. Yeah. Like here's what I like. I'm sorry, I get I, I get excited. I know. You're a big plus size guy, and and you you know you mean well. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> so, no, but like I'm not fat, fucking asshole. <laughs> Idiot! Um, you just made the worst mistake of your life. You baby. just made the worst mistake <laughs> of your life, bud. I'll be back here. Yeah, I'll be three hundred. Um, cauliflower buffalo wings—they call oh. them, but it's just cauliflower covered in buffalo sauce. Yeah, which is fine because you're eating cauliflower. No, but if you made some like fucking artificial looking chicken wing, it's like oh, it looks like a chicken wing. You're like, oh, but it's not chicken. I'd be like, but it it what is? Yeah. And then it's like, oh, we got a, a vegan uh, sausages. Get the fuck out of here with that. <laughs> if you can't handle being a vegan, you need food to just look don't call like it meat. Sausage. Just call it fucking just vegan mishmash. Yeah. V- uh, vegan sleeves. Vegan potpourri. Yeah. Fucking uh, vegan slab. Slab of vegan. Slab of vegs. Mm-hmm. You know, I just don't understand. You guys work so hard to get away from us. Now you want to be just like us. This sounds oddly racist. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want them in my house. Just get them away from me. Leave our stuff alone. I just don't get it. <laughs> All that beyond me. And then I also heard this could be wrong, but it's not really that healthy for you. So it's all a oh. fucking scam. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're saying fast food? Yeah. Isn't healthy? If no. Going to Burger King to get a Beyond cheeseburger. That's just a dumb asshole doing you that. You are an asshole. Dude, you're going to Burger King for your healthy food options? Go literally anywhere else. How's that? I love when people be like, yo, I went to McDonald's, but I got the chicken wrap. I said, you went to McDonald's. Yeah, and it's all bad for you. Yeah. That thing was in a freezer three minutes ago. Yeah. The Don't lettuce is from 1977. It's gross. It's been frozen like Austin Powers until today. And why is the, f- the fucking McFlurry machine always broken? What are they doing in there? How hard is it to make it look... Fu- like, is someone just dropping grenades into these machines? Why are they always broken? It makes no sense. It's I think they ice lie. cream. I think they lie. Why? Because they don't want to make it? Because they don't want to make it. It's probably a pain in the ass to reload the custard. I don't know what it's called. Milk? I don't know. How do you make ice cream? I always see people doing it on have- Chopped, and they have 30 minutes to make ice cream? Who the fuck are you? How can you freeze something I'm like that? I'm fucking fired up today. Yeah, I think only Jack Frost can do that in that time. I That's the thing I hate about Chop, too, is that they make it look like it's so hard. But they all, all, all almost all of them always get their stuff done. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, this, this fucking lady's just like putting out a fire 
over like she burnt her fucking 30 seconds yeah and it's like 30 <laughs> seconds she's putting out a fire her dish comes out amazing beautiful actually allison we loved it i'm like this bitch was had a fire going time step put, away from your plates she puts like a leaf on it step away from your plates yeah that show's ridiculous i know you you're good at cooking that's great how fast can you cook it's like the fuck who cares and i love that they're like when they make stuff it's only that takes that ma- uh, like that long of times because the shit they do is like so unnecessary. I'm making a, a puree sauce, and it's like this isn't even going on the dish. It's just like on the plate. Yeah, I was like, dude, one of the ingredients was shit. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, I I, I don't understand. It's like, yeah, I'm it, gonna make I'm gonna make an asparagus. You can make a puree at anything. Also, like, yeah, I'm gonna make a, an asparagus split pea puree. I'm like, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. Also, like they have to food shop. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. I came to your show to be on it. Uh, you can't just have the food for me. Grab I gotta your, grab your through. ingredients. Yeah. Ready? Go. And I'm running with a fucking shopping cart now. Like when they get cut on the show. Cut. Cut. What? When they cut their hands on the show. Because you can't cook with blood. You're not going to have people eat your blood. Why not? Uh, I mean, I would. But he's like, cut, cut. I'm cut. The fucking medical team comes out, wraps them up, puts a glove on them, throws them right back in there. Wow. But you're telling me you cut your finger, you still got enough time to fucking make that mango puree? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I've seen a puree. Hey, come on. Get the fuck out of here. Don't fucking do that with me. It's bullshit. Yeah. A langu. <laughs> <laughs> they have the children's one, too. They have kids running around being all stressed. Remember that kid that was, like, whisking that thing? He's like... Hum-hum. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> like, oh, fuck. It's like, all right. You know what I hate? Oh my god! This one I hate so much. It's the fucking thank you, chef. It's the whitest shit in the world, where they have like the cupcake, like they're they're just making cupcakes. Oh yeah. And these people are sitting up there in suits, in a studio, with lights, and there's forty people working this show. And you're talking about a cupcake. The subtlety of it is, is, is good. You're talking about a cupcake like we opened up an iPhone and we're talking about the wiring and shit that went into this. The way professional people talk about food it's, is, is the most obnoxious. It's so pretentious. Pompous, pretentious bullshit. It's so ridiculous. It's good. It's, just eat it. Just eat it, you old bitch. It's a cupcake. Eat it. Fatty. I hate that. <laughs> just eat it, you fat fuck. All right, I'm not fat anymore, so I could be f- mean to fat people now, I guess. I don't know. You might get some heat for not being fat. I'm fat. I'm fat. That'd be something if you got canceled because you said some fat stuff and people were and you fat were like, culture canceled me? And then they were like, oh, no, because you, you're not fat. And you're like, well, and then the world's against you. No, and then you no, have to no, rise no, up no, 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 from no. the ashes and eat your way back to being very fat so you can be undeniably huge. Everybody loves a good comeback story. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I I don't know why I went off on that vegan tangent, but I hate that shit. Can't stand it. Yeah. Let, let us have our sick, disgusting stuff. Yeah. Okay? I went the- to a steakhouse the other night, and when you first walk in, they have a meat freezer right next to you. Oh. It's kind of disgusting to see. Yeah. It's like 300 steaks just hanging, and I'm like, that's we cut. that could be a person. I don't know. I'm a finished product kind of guy. Would love to see it cooked with sauce on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my kind of meat. You, you know, know what I hate too? When you, people cook fish, you don't have to cook fish. You really? Can eat, you can eat fish raw. That's what sushi is. Yeah. It's like going out of your way to cook it. Fucking fish stinks. 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 Yeah. I can't stand that either. I hate cooking fish. And then you got to peel the skin off the salmon. Then that got to go away. And then people tell you the omega-3s are in there, but you don't really know. Nobody knows. What is the, What the fuck is an omega-3? That's, I don't know. That's but a it, Greek letter. They're good for your heart, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't know. Also, fish oil pills. You ever take those? Yeah, they're disgusting. Dude, you take fish oil pills, two days later, you smell like a fish. Yeah. And you ever burp like a vitamin? Don't even... I could throw up if I oh. continue to think about it. I farted Burping once. Burping up a pill is horrendous. Dude, I one time I took a bunch of fish oils and I farted and it literally smelled like low tide. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, it smells like a marina in this room now. Were we talking about something uh, like a probiotic? Yeah. Oh, uh, here se- we go. Here we go. 
<laughs> Bless you. Uh, that's a little strange. But we were talking about it with that when South Park did that. Oh. Okay. I, th- I almost snapped my neck just now. When South Park just did that episode of like fecal transplants and you told me it's true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have like, so like the, the, um, the bacteria in your gut. Yeah. Is it, if you pay attention to the bacteria in your gut, which like kombucha has like probiotics, which are like, I, this could be wrong, but like to my knowledge, um, Mm -hmm. living organisms Mm -hmm. and they are like, it's good for your gut because it could, it could fix like digestive problems and all these things. Um, and that stuff lives in your feces as well so what they do so is, we shit out little people i guess um but if you have a lot of stomach issues you can get a fecal transplant and they take someone else's shit and they put it into your colon so that you can get those organisms that are like it's basically like a like an ass vaccine like you know how a vaccine they give you yeah. some of the stuff so it can yeah. fight yeah yeah that's basically what they're doing. They're putting my shit in your ass so that you, so we could fight the same fight. We we join forces. That's one of the most disgusting things. And who the fuck came up with this? Let's put his poop in him. Because you, that I, would be something that we would say on this show, and people would laugh at us. I feel like it, it does make sense though, because I feel I, I, I don't think it's that <laughs> crazy. Because I feel like obviously you you. It's obviously not. People are doing it. No, but I'm saying you put shit under a microscope. Right, like you, like figuratively or literally. No, no, no. You do it. You know, <laughs> no. It's not like you know, shit's better wash its back. It's under a microscope. It's still all the fame. No, but you put, if if someone shits, yeah. You know, when you invent the microscope, you go, let's just look at everything. Right. And like poop's one of those things. Let's yeah. see what's in this poop. You know, so you look at poop, you realize, oh, there's living organisms in here. There's stuff moving around. Right, right, right. And then you do some more research, and then you find out, like, oh, these things are what are in our gut, and they help with the digestive system, enzymes, all kinds of words that I don't really know what I'm talking about right now. Yeah, I don't know what an enzyme is. So if someone has issues, but someone has a good digestive system, you you can go, look, I'll take this poop, and I'll put it in his poop, and then we'll just make this Optimus Prime poop. So how do they... So they just, like... Put them in. The, you know those blood things that spin really fast for like blood tests. Yeah. Do they put your duty in there and then shoot it up your butt? I mean, I haven't had this done, so I don't really know. Oh. But I, I assume there. It's not like you know you, you take no- a actual shit and you jam it in someone's ass. I just thought it was like one of South Park's like silly ideas, and nah. then once you said it was true, I was like, holy fuck. Nah, I'll Google it. We'll go fecal transplant. How much are they? I mean, are they FDA approved? Probably. Poop. Yo, what's up? I have to have somebody shit shot into my asshole? Yeah, see, a fecal transplant is when a doctor transplants feces from a healthy donor onto another person to restore the balance of bacteria in their gut. What? Yes. Fecal transplants may help treat gastrointestinal infections and other conditions. Shit in me. Yeah, dude. So if, so, so if someone shit in you, they're doing you a favor. Wow. Yes. A healthy person if shit. Someone, if someone shits on you, that doesn't help. No. But if they shit in you... You find some way to put it up your butt, you're good. It doesn't even cost that much. How much is it to get your fucking ass shit in? Six hundred to a thousand. I'm in. Hey, dude, I'll take a couple shits. <laughs> Do you get to pick your shit? I think they pick their shit. They nah, have a very specific. Nah, 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 they nah. have a very specific vetting process. I'm picking with the whose shit goes in me. I don't think so. Yeah. I'd like to see this shit. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. In some cases, the antibiotics that treat infections in the gut also kill off helpful the bacteria. For example, wow. almost, almost 20% of people who take antibiotics for uh, some d- word I don't know. Spinodifia. Uh, well, let's go with that. A common bacterial stomach infection that causes diarrhea develop the condition again. So it's not, you know, if you take some pills, it could kill the healthy bacteria. And now putting shit in you just makes you more dirty. Just makes you, yeah. You're but at the right, just the right amount of dirty. Rough and rowdy. It's, that's how I like it. Mm-hmm. The right amount of dirty. Just Fe- the perfect amount of dirty. Yeah, fecal transplants originated in ancient Chinese medicine more than 1,700 years ago. So oh, they've God. been, the Chinese have been planting poop into butts for years. I thought this was like a new 21st century type nah, of thing. Nah, man, the Chinese have been, have been onto it. Boof and shit. Yeah, they're, they're putting poop up there and they're, they're, fi- <clears throat> they're doing it in the past. And they live forever. Yeah, so they're probably switching poop like every holiday, probably every couple months. They get a, yeah. they get a poop in them. Uh, in the past, 
best. It's someone, you know, you know it's, it's such a lack of professionalism. It's, it's disrespectful. Is yeah, what it is. It's, it's true. It's true. Go on. I'm sorry. It's okay. In the past, this procedure involved drinking a liquid suspension of another person's feces. Whoa. Drank their liquid shit? Yeah. Wow. That's disgusting. Um, a highly risky technique. To say the least. Yeah. Drinking poop. Sucky. Yo, you couldn't pay me to drink someone's shit. Today's fecal transplants are sterile and safe, and there is a growing body of research to support their use. This is white people shit, though. I mean... Oh, so like C. diff. C. diff kills 15,000 people a year. So you know what C. diff is? That was also in that episode. No. I I think that's why I said spina diffia. No. (laughs) It's like <coughs> severe colon inf- inflammation. And like it's yeah, it's a lot of shit. It's like it's fucked up, but it kills people. Like it's that bad. Um, I guess yeah, if it's a safe. I, I mean, like the 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 actual thing, I, I'm okay with, but I'm not drinking shit. In a small scale 2014 trial, 70 percent of the participants had no system s- symptoms after one fecal tr- uh, transplant treatment. One? Yeah, one poop, and then it fixed their C diff. It's crazy. Wow. Magic the, the, shit. The overall cure rate was 90% among those who went underwent multiple treatments. 90%. The participants wow. also had fewer bowel movements and ranked their overall health more highly following treatment. That's unbelievable. Yeah, so... I'm yeah. fucking blown away by this. Yeah, like, recycled poop helps the body, man. Yeah. It's the bacteria, man. Like, think about it. Like, think about, like... All the nutrients and all of the things that go into your into right, a healthy right. person's body, right? Who yeah. doesn't eat like these meats, no fast food, you know, grains or whatever clean the fuck shit. you believe. Yeah, no the clean, intended, yeah. the clean, clean stuff. And their gut and the way that their body works is because of these fucking nutrients, these bacteria. Yeah, the bacteria. And then yeah. if you plant that into your body, it like changes the way your body breaks things down, or it does it more efficiently, or whatever. And it just can we watch one right after this? I don't know if you can. I wonder if they have them on YouTube. They have to. They think they show... Yeah, yeah. They don't show butts. Yeah. I wonder if they put you to sleep to do it. Like, how far up your asshole do they have to go? I don't know, man. I wonder if they have it. Let me see. Yeah, I didn't know C-Diff was that bad. No, there's no butts. They have, like, you know, they have little... uh... Treating, plus treating. Dope. Sorry. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, they just put poop in you. That's, I mean, that's the that's thing. That's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. It's kind of sick, but yeah, it's a sick practice. Yeah, but, you yeah, know, yeah. The Chinese are willing to get down and dirty to fix that butt. No. Yeah. How many? Are there? There's like fifty billion of them. So yeah, everyone's fucking just boofing shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think we can wrap this up. Yeah. Well, Merry Christmas. Mer- Merry <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. But uh, uh, Danny, where can they find you? You can find me at Danny LaPriori on Instagram and Twitter. Go check out the Stank Podcast, okay? This month, we are giving away a PlayStation 4, an Xbox One, or a Nintendo Switch. All right? So you can go to patreon.com slash Stank Podcast. Enter to win that as well. And also, check the Stank out on YouTube and watch us talk about movies, comic books, Video games. Shout out Frankie. Uh, guys, like I said, go check out the Patreon. We have revamped the way it's going to look. We're going to have some more guests on there. Uh, not going to tell you who, but we have some cool people that are going to be uh, on the show. And you get to see me and Danny in a new element there, kind of interviewing, grilling, yeah. grilling people. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, we also have a set of 10 questions that we are going to ask every, every guest to kind of get to know them a little better. Um, I like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, go follow the show at the Basement Yard on Instagram, and go follow at Santa Gato Studios and the YouTube channel Santa Gato Studios for more content. And that is all. See you guys next time. Merry Christmas and a happy New Year. <laughs>